Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to make the crystal netting necklace. Um, I made a tutorial about the bracelet, so this is a bracelet. You will recognize it from my other videos. So we did the net first and then we made the crystals on top of it. So today we're going to make a necklace of it that can match the bracelet. So this is an example of a necklace. Like that. So that's what we're going to make today. Um, to make the necklace, we need some other things that we need uh, for the bracelet. So for the necklace, we're going to use um, seed bead size 11s in two different colors. So I used the pink ones and then the dark red ones. Then I'm going to use um, seed bead size 15 in one color. They're coming on top and then we're going to use two sizes of crystals. So I use size 3 millimeter crystals and I use size 4 millimeter crystals. Um, if you take a look at the necklace, you see the 4 millimeters are going to be the big ones and the other ones are going to be 3 millimeters. You can use two different colors. You can use one color. You can choose that actually. Um, so for the thread, I always use fire line. So this is the the fire line that I'm going to use and I'm going to use a white one. So to start I'm going to choose my main color and my other color. So my main color is going to be the pink one. My other color is going to be the dark red one. So I'm going to start with the dark red one and I'm going to pick up one 11 seed bead, two pink 11 seed beads, again one red 11 seed bead, two pink 11 seed bead, one red 11 seed bead, two pink 11 seed bead so I'm gonna put them on my needle like this so you see one red two pink one red two pink one red two pink put them on my thread like that And I go through the first red one again. So to the first one, putting my needle through it. Like that. So I forgot to put on a stop bead, so I'm gonna put on a stop bead right now. Because otherwise it's gonna lose and the net is gonna be very difficult to make. So I put on a stop bead like that so the stop bead and then you have kind of a circle but it's gonna form a triangle so for the net you have to pull hard just like in the bracelet tutorial so we're coming out of this red one so i'm gonna pick up two pink ones one red one two pink ones like that one red one, two pink ones, one red one, two pink ones. I'm gonna take my circle like that and I'm gonna go through the red one like this. I'm gonna go through that one. So in the beginning it will look messy. That's why you need to stop it. And it will look like like this. So you will form like two little triangles. Like that. So we're coming out of this red one and now I'm gonna take another two pink ones, one red one, two pink ones. And I'm gonna go through this. So I'm coming out of this red one. So now I'm gonna choose the other red one. So this red one. And I'm gonna pull again. So now we have like three triangles. So we have this triangle 
then the above triangle, above the triangle, and then this triangle. So now you have to choose which which one is going to be your top and which one is going to be your bottom. So I always choose the bottom one is the one with the stop beads. That's to make it easy because that's where we're going to make some differences. So we want our necklace to make a bow. So we're gonna so so you can wear it as a necklace. Otherwise, it's going to be straight like this we don't want it we want it to bend so we can form a necklace so to make that we're gonna coming out of this red one again we're gonna take four pink ones one red one and two pink ones so now i did four pink ones, one red and two pink ones. And we're gonna do the same that I already did. So I'm gonna take my work, coming out of this red one, this red one, and I'm going through this red one. You see, this red one, I'm gonna pull. So now you're gonna have a bigger triangle, like that. And then we're gonna continue, so we're gonna take two pink ones, one red one, two pink ones. And I'm gonna do the same as I did, so I'm coming out of this one, and I'm going through this one. Like that. So I hope you can see. So, as we see the top, I have two one, four, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do two again. So I'm gonna take two pink ones, one red, two pink ones, coming out of this red one and going through this red one. So now I'm at the top part again, so I'm gonna take two pink ones, one red, two pink, coming out of this one, going through the other one, like that. So and now I'm gonna take a look at my work and I see two, four, two, so now it's gonna be four again, so I'm gonna take four pink ones, one red, two pink ones. So I'm gonna show you again. Two, four, two, and now we're gonna make four again. So we're gonna take our work, coming out of this red one, going through the other red one, like that, using four pink beads. Like that, and we have a bigger, bigger triangle. So I'm gonna continue, this is with the two, so I'm gonna take two pink ones. One red, two pink ones. And I'm gonna go, this is the red I'm coming from, so I'm going, gonna go through this red one. Put it down so you can see it better. So you see the triangles. It's a little bit unclear, but it will be clear when you're gonna put the crystals on. So we're gonna continue. We're looking at our top row. We see two, four, two, four. So it's gonna be two again. So I'm picking up two pink ones, one red, two pink. Coming out of this one, we're so going through this one. Like that. So the yeah, bottom is always two, so I'm gonna pick up two pink ones, one red, two pink ones, and going through the other red. Like that. So now I'm gonna take a look again. So I have two, four, two, four, two. So now it's gonna be four again, so I pick up Four pink one, a 
a red and two pink one and I'm gonna go through I'm coming out of this one so I'm gonna go through this one like that and then we have a bigger triangle so I'm gonna do one more so bottom row always two so two pink one one red two pink one going through the other red one like that So again, counting two, four, two, four, two, four, two. So now it's gonna be two. And going through the other one. So I'm not gonna do the whole necklace, but I'm gonna show you a part of it. So. And you just actually need to continue. So I'm gonna do one more. The bottom one is always two. So I'm gonna do two, two, pink one, one, red one, two, pink one. And go through the other red one. And then you actually need to continue. So the next one would be if you look at the the top row would be four two four two four two would be four but I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna I'm just gonna do this piece so you need to make the netting uh, the length of your necklace and then I always made a knot so I'm gonna do the knot right here because we're gonna put the crystals on it otherwise it's gonna loose and I don't like it when it's loose I like it when it ties so I made the knot, you can see it right here, so that's a knot. So now we're gonna put the crystals on. To put the crystals on, I have to tell you some things you need to know. So we have crystal size 3 millimeter, crystal size 4 millimeter. Then I have these 15s I'm gonna use. Um, you can use 11s as well, then you can choose between one of the two colors that you used in the netting, but I like to choose the 15s because they're a little tinier and it looks more beautiful. In my opinion so to put the crystals on I make here the knot so I'm gonna go through my red one like that so here in the red one and then I'm gonna pick up 115 one crystal three millimeter 115 and I'm gonna go through this one so you see this is the red one and then you have the, in the opposite triangle so this is a triangle you see so the opposite one is this one and we, we split them in half so then you're gonna go through this one and normally it's gonna be on top the first one can a bit difficult to get it on top like that so and then I'm gonna go through the red one again like that through the red one so and now it's stuck so I didn't pick beautiful colors but I just wanted to show you so I'm coming out of this red one so I'm gonna pick up one 15 one crystal three millimeter one 15 so now my tri triangle is this one, so like that. So the opposite of my red one is going to be this side. I'm going to split it in half and I'm going to take this bead to go through like that. So I'm going to take that bead and I'm going to go through the red one like that so I'm gonna go to the red one so I'm gonna continue 
I'm going to take around 15. One crystal size 3 millimeter, 115. So now I take a look at the triangle again. So this is my triangle coming out of this red one. The opposite one is this one, and I'm going to go through this one now. Wait, doesn't want to like that. This one. So I'm gonna go through that one. So I'm gonna pull like that. So I'm coming out of this one and then I'm gonna go through the red again. like that so now the crystals are on top of it so now we're gonna do something else because in the net we made the top with a 4 2 4 2 4 2 so now we always have two and we pick the three millimeter now we have one with four so we're gonna pick the four millimeter ones so now I'm gonna pick up 115 one crystal four millimeter so the other one four millimeter and then I'm gonna pick up one fifteen again and I'm gonna do the same so I'm gonna search my triangle so this is my triangle but now the opposite of the red one are the four pink ones so I'm gonna split the four pink ones in half and I'm gonna take the two right one like that so I'm gonna take two of them I'm gonna take the two opposite and then I'm gonna pull and the red one will come in place like that. So I pulled, and this is a bigger one. And I'm gonna go to the red one again. Like that. So when we take a look, we see the little ones, and then we see the bigger one. So now we're coming out of the red one. And so I'm gonna pick up size 15. Seed beads 15, 3 millimeter crystals, seed bead size 15. I'm gonna go to the opposite, that's one, so I took my 3 millimeters, so that's right. I'm gonna split them in half, I'm gonna take the pink one, like that. So I don't know if you can see it well, but I took this one. So I'm gonna pull, and I'm gonna go to the red one again. So like that. And when you put the crystals on, you will start to see that it will not be straight again, but it will be a little bit of a round. But we need it because it will be a necklace. So again, coming out of this red one, so put a 15 on this, the needle, a 3 millimeter of 15. Go to the opposite, that are two ones, so we need a 3 millimeter. Split them in half and take the right one, like that. And then go to the red one again. Like that. So now we have our new triangle, that's this one. So I pick up 115, one three millimeter, 115. Look at the opposite, split them in half and take the right one, that will be this one. And then go through the red one again. So now we see, if we take a look to our triangle, that the opposite one is a 4 again, so we're going to take the 4 millimeters. So, like this. So this is our triangle. The opposite one is a four million is our four beads. So we're gonna take the four millimeters. So we're gonna take uh, 15, one four millimeter crystal, one 15. We're gonna do the same as we did. So we're gonna this is the red one. So the opposite one, split them in half, and go through the two right one 
like that. So now we're going to take the two right one. Instead of one we take two because we have the double beads. And then we go through the red one. And we're going to continue. So we're going to continue coming out this red one. Picking up a 15. 3 millimeter 15 and go to the right the right pink one like that and then we go through the red one again So just the same, picking up a 15, 3 millimeter, 15, take a look at the triangle and choose the pink one, like that, pull and go to the red one. So again, 115, 1, 3 millimeter, 115, and go to the pink one, like this, and I'm gonna go to the red one at the same time. But at the beginning you can do one by one, just to be sure you don't make any mistakes, but when you are a little more comfortable with the pattern, you can do the two at the same time. So now I have these four beads again, so I'm gonna take a 15 seed bead, a 4 millimeter crystal, a seed bead, 15, I'm gonna split them in half because I have doubled the size of the beads and I'm gonna take the two pink ones like that, I'm gonna pull. And I'm gonna go through my red one. So now coming out of my red one, so picking up one fifteen, one three millimeter, one fifteen, going to the pink one and the red one, like that. So you can do them. One by one of you can do them at the same time. So we almost finished the part. So coming out of this red one, picking up a 15 3 millimeter crystal 15 seed bead. And I'm gonna go through the pink one and the red one. So coming out of the red one, picking up a 15 seed, uh, 15 seed bead crystal 3 millimeter. Seed bead 15 and go through the pink one and the red one. And that's how to make the crystal netting uh, necklace. So we already made the bracelet. So the crystal netting necklace, that's how it looks like. So when I put my original next to it, you see I'm, I use some different colors, but you have the, the little crystals and then the big crystals and it's gonna bend. So you can make a necklace of it. You always need to use a lot of red for it. So um, make sure you have enough thread um, for a clasp and you want to add a clasp I always use these little magnetic clasps so they are very strong magnetic clasps 
they are a little bit difficult to put on your work because they are magnetic so they are stuck on your needle and that's the difficulty of it. So they are difficult to string on because they are magnetic but when you put them on they are very easy to use so I put them like this, I put them on my necklace and you just open it and then you do it around your neck and you see it closes immediately and then that's how to lose, lose it and put it on. So very easy. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you will watch my other videos. Thank you for watching.